Hi, I'm Matt from tracymatt.co.uk and here I have the Nokia 5800 Express Music which I'm going to just take a quick look at and have a little unbox. Inside we have the handset itself. As you can see here, it's quite a long, thin device but we're going to look at that in a little bit more detail in just a second. Also in the box we have a charger which is a fairly standard Nokia charger, one with a very small connector there as you can see. We have the battery which is a 1320 milliamp hour battery. Underneath all that we have a micro USB to standard USB sync and charge cable so you need this for uh, connecting to your PC and transferring music. We then have an inline microphone with push buttons for start, stop, pause, rewind, play and all that sort of thing, volume control and then a hold switch on the side and then a 3.5mm jack socket on the top so you can use any old headphones with, an, with this adapter um, and it obviously works as a media control so you can uh, control the playback of your music which is quite cool. We have a spare stylus as you can see there one of the few devices from Nokia to have a stylus in actual fact. Then have a, a lanyard style cable there with a phone charm on the other end. And we have a AV out cable so we can connect up to a TV so we can output our audio, video and photographs on a large screen. That's a composite with left and right audio and that connects with the four pole 3.5mm jack. We have a fairly decent looking case, which I'll just open up. It's uh, actually a fairly solid case, it's rigidized plastic case and the handset just slides inside, offering quite a great uh, degree of protection, so that's quite good. Last of all we have uh, a set of headphones, which are fairly standard Nokia headphones. Uh, three and a half mil standard headphone plug on one end and then in-ear style headphones on the other. These are pretty good actually, the Nokia ones. I've used these before so they're not bad at all, pretty, pretty decent. Uh, last of all we have in the box the, uh, there's a CD. There's eight, uh, actually an 8 centimeter DVD there with some software on for transferring and dealing with music. Uh, we have our manual which is uh, actually not printed in colour and does have some example screenshots uh, and our warranty card and quick start guide just there. So that's pretty much all there is uh, in the box. See there's quite a bit of stuff that comes with it. Let's look at the handset itself which is uh, quite light and we'll just peel off the protective screen. Uh, as I say quite lightweight. It's, uh, one of the first things that strikes me when picking it up it isn't ever so heavy. I know I haven't installed the battery just yet which I'll do in a moment. Um, but uh, quite surprised at how light it is compared to say a Windows mobile device. On the front we actually have a 640 by 360 display um, which is quite generous, it's actually a 16 by 9 aspect ratio. Below the main screen we have a series of soft keys and above we have a forward facing camera. On the back we have a 3.2 megapixel camera with autofocus and a couple of mobile lights for illuminating your subject and then we have a space for a stylus, as I say one of the few devices I've seen from Nokia to actually include a stylus that just pops in the bottom there, that's quite secure on the top we have power button and the charge socket and then we have a 3.5mm jack for plugging in the headphones and also that external AV connector we have a little rubber cover over that micro USB connector and turning down the left hand side we have another cover this time this is over our sim card socket or sim card slot we we'll actually slot the sim card in that side rather than uh, typically under the battery below that we have another cover this time over a micro SD card socket and we have an 8 gig micro SD included pop that back in uh, nothing to speak of on the bottom apart from a little hole for the microphone. Up the right hand side we have a dedicated camera button 
a slide spring loaded switch and uh, volume control rocker for up and down volume control. The back cover pops off but we have to remove the stylus first and the back cover pops off like so. The battery goes inside obviously as you know SIM card actually goes on the side not underneath so uh, battery pops in quite easily and the cover back on like that and pops on. We can reinsert the stylus around the right way. Okay, and while we're just waiting for that to power up, let's run down the rest of the spec. Uh, there's 81 meg of internal memory, so you're going to want to use that SD card uh, for anything else. As I mentioned, it's a 3.2 inch 640 by 360 display, which is very good, 16 by 9, great for watching videos and uh, media content. Micro USB supports USB 2.0. It actually has got a built-in surround sound processor um, so that when you plug in your headphones there is a virtual surround which is excellent. It's actually a dedicated processor. Um, now if we just go through the menu here, uh, it's all touch screen as uh, we'll see we covered when we uh, mentioned the fact that we've got the stylus. So let's just scroll through to uh, United Kingdom. Oops, a little bit sensitive. There we go. And I'm nearest to London. Uh, I'll accept the default date and default time. Touch screen seems to be very sensitive as I'm just running through there. I'm not preparing a memory card. Uh, rest of the spec, Symbian S60 5th edition. 3.5mm jack as I mentioned does support TV out. There is built-in Wi-Fi, built-in Bluetooth 2 with EDR support. Micro SD card according to spec will support up to 16 gig. Record band for GSM, but only dual band for 3G and HSDPA, so you can only use it in uh, certain areas of the USA and the rest of the world. It's not going to work absolutely everywhere. We have built in AGPS uh, with Nokia Maps pre installed, 3.2 megapixel camera I've already mentioned, and we do weigh only 109 grams, which is exceptionally light, especially when you consider the features that this phone has with touchscreen and everything else. It is very, very lightweight. Um, we don't want to Learn about the new features just at the moment. I'll just have a quick look through the menu. See, you can have we've got this on screen touch screen for dialing our numbers, and every time I'm touching the screen, there is a small little vibrate from inside, like haptic feedback, um, which is quite good, um, probably customizable. We have a phone book, obviously, we have no contacts in there just at the moment, and we can go into add contacts, which again, we don't want to do just now. Push the menu button, we get into a Fairly standard you know, uh, Symbian style menu, have maps already installed as I mentioned, which will just load up. And we'll accept that. Okay, and obviously we've got the standard Nokia maps there. And then we can go back, we've got messaging, we've got music, and we've got built in radio, a music store, and a music player. Which is searching the memory card now for music. We'll abandon that for now. We have a couple of tracks already on the memory card, which you can play. Obviously, we're supporting album art there. And those two loudspeakers, as I mentioned, on the outside, or stereo, left and right. Uh, the sound is actually quite good, obviously not going to come across ever so well on the uh, microphone that's built into the camcorder, but believe me that does sound quite good. And we'll skip back out of there, we we'll go back into the menu. Uh, we've got applications, we've got settings, we've got log, we've got our calendar and our messaging. Our messaging supports obviously SMS, MMS and email support and with a, a download you can actually support Exchange Active Sync, which is quite good. So we're going to be playing around with the uh, Nokia 5800 Express Music over the next uh, week or so and we'll be comparing it to a couple of the other devices that we've had on site recently that are more music orientated and that review will be online on tracymat.co.uk very soon.